What's the deal, world? I go by the name of Biz Biller, and we back. Man, it's been a long time since we had a series where I stood in front of the microphone, man. We are back, Madden 23, and we are starting our journey with the Baltimore Ravens. Man, I got a lot of history with the Ravens. Both sides of my family, mom and dad's side, were big, big Ravens fans. We got a few Commanders fans in there. I'm personally a Jets fan because I grew up in New York. But nonetheless, you see what we did with the roster, man. We got Odell Beckham. Mark Andrews is hurt. Man, it's a lot going on as you sit down and look at the roster. But let's sit back. Let's get ready to kick the season off. Let's do it. week one of the 2022 season, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Ravens and the Jets next on Madden NFL 23. Take the Lincoln Tunnel through Weehawken, through Secaucus, across the Hackensack River, and you'll arrive, as we have, at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, it's the opener of a new NFL season between the Baltimore Ravens and the New York Jets. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, here for the start, folks, of another NFL season. We are ready to go. We hope you are. And we'll begin this one, Charles, with a couple of teams hoping to move on from a tough 2021 season. Both the Ravens and the Jets finishing last in their respective divisions a season ago. And let's start with Baltimore, because even in a very tough AFC North, I think we were all surprised to see the Ravens finish 8-9, snapping a streak of three straight postseason appearances. That's for New York. We knew the rebuild was going to take a little bit of time, but I think the last two years they drafted in a big-time way. And now the groundwork has been laid. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And as you can see, Justin Tucker starts the season off with a touchback. And here come the Jets. Look at this New York Jets offense really retooled the last couple of seasons. And at the helm under center, second overall pick from 2021 out of BYU. So here we go, first drive of the season, first play of the season. It's a nice little jet sweep, but it's not going to turn into much for the Jets. As here they get a nice little run with Brees Hall up the middle. The rookie definitely looking to have a standout year. As I said, I'm a Jets fan. They have a very interesting roster as far as it comes to Madden. They're very young, so very good for a rebuild. And with plays like that, maybe they won't be rebuilding this year. Did you see that catch by Braxton Barrios? Double coverage, Zach Wilson flings it over the shoulder. Perfect location as they move the chains for a first down. Look at that beautiful pass by Zach Wilson. But I'm going to let you know right now, it's not going to be that easy today. So here we see the play action. Wilson looking. The uh, pocket breaks down. Calais Campbell, you know it. Coming in, getting the sack, and doing a good job of going ahead and slowing down this offense. They were moving down the field pretty quickly. But as I said, the Jets are a very interesting team as far as if you like to do rebuilds in franchise mode. This is one of those teams that I would definitely say, you know, get behind them, add some more pieces. As third down comes up here, you can see nobody's open down the field. Zach Wilson has to scramble and settle for the long field goal from Greg Zerline and he's way off as you see right there wide right on the field goal and that's going to set us up with pretty good field position to start the season and you know on the other side of the ball I told you early in the video we signed Odell Beckham Mark Andrews is hurt so we'll have Nick Ball playing tight end this week J.K. Dobbins definitely somebody that we want to get involved early so let's go ahead and see what we're going to do on the offensive side of the ball with these Baltimore Ravens. Lamar Jackson under center. Takes a handoff, gives a handoff to J.K. Dobbins. First play of the season is a short game. It's already third and five now with just under five minutes to go in the first quarter. Lamar comfortable in the pocket. Finds ball right over the middle. First down, keeps the chains moving. And I'm going to tell you, a key part to my offense, if I'm not going to be able to get into the end zone one way or another, we've got one of the best kickers 
in the NFL, if not the best. So we'll talk about that more in a second as J.K. Dobbins makes some swift moves and is able to get some big chunk of yardage, 19 yards, and it leads to a Ravens first down. So, you know, like I was saying, I, the main thing I want to do this season is get points. No empty drives. I mean, obviously, you're going to have some drives where you have to punt or if there's maybe a turnover forced by the defense. But if we have a chance to score, let's knock it out, even if it's three. As you see Lamar Jackson now on third down. Speaking of three, we're not able to get the first. It's going to lead to fourth down. And there he is, Justin Tuck, Legatron. That one was sweeping a little bit to the left, but it's still through the uprights. It's going to lead to the first three points of the game. Going to start the season off right with the lead. All right, one minute and 37 seconds left in the first. Zach Wilson drops back, and I, I just got to toot my own horn on this. Beautiful user lurk by myself controlling Patrick Queen. I saw the tight end starting to creep over the middle and break away with some space so i tried to cover as much space as i could you can see the tight end right there getting ready to break up field i was able to make a, a reach at the ball and just like that it's heading the other way and the second drive of the season is coming now for lamar jackson and the baltimore ravens so you're going to see me use the fullback. I like to run the ball. I like to throw short plays. This was a short play that was just very reckless. Pressure was coming. I just threw the ball out there thinking it would fall harmlessly to the ground. Instead, it falls right into the arms of the former Baltimore Ravens, C.J. Mosley, and it's headed the other way. Jets with a big pick right there. All of a sudden, this game just got interesting. So there you see C.J. making a play again. Zach Wilson now as we speed ahead to third and 13. He scrambles out of the pocket, and he's not able to get anywhere close to a first down. As now Zerline's going to come out and attempt another field goal, much shorter than the previous one. Two seconds left on the clock in the first, and look at that, a blocked field goal. If you guys follow BYC underscore gaming on Instagram, you might have seen that there were a few blocked field goals in preseason by this Baltimore uh, Ravens team. And it carries over into the regular season as we get a closer look at what happened there. Great jump off the rip, and he presses the line and is able to knock that ball just from under the foot of Greg Zerlein, and now it's headed the other way. Now let's see, can we make him pay? Lamar Jackson now scrambling. Try to get down, but good tackling by the Jets. Big scramble there by the dual threat quarterback. Lamar Jackson, you see, very dangerous. You know, I'm, I, I'm, I don't want to make it a thing where I rely on his legs all the time, but I definitely want to take care of him. And if something does happen where I do have to break off and scramble, definitely get down on the ground and not and don't take too many tackles. All right, first and ten, six minutes left on the clock. We got a play action here. Interesting throw is hit to Beckham. Good blocking downfield. Very shifty running, and he makes it into the end zone. Beautiful run after the catch from Odell Beckham. I mean, he made it look easy. And so did the Ravens blocking. Look at the blocking by the receiver. I think that was Rashad Bateman. Beautiful blocking. He outruns C.J. Mosley. He takes out his own guy trying to dive at him. And that's an easy six for the Ravens. So you see Legatron adds on the extra point. And just like that, it is 10-0. Big, big touchdown drive by the Ravens. All right, now let's fast forward to our next drive. J.K. Dobbins takes it up the middle, puts his head down, throws his shoulder into the defender, and we got a first down. So that's the thing. I'm big on balanced offense. I like to run the ball early in the, uh, in the drive, try to make short you know passing situations for myself so i don't have to always throw the ball downfield you know and when we do throw the ball downfield you know we've ran in throw so many short plays sometimes they're not expecting it sometimes they're cheating up right here is third and ten they're expecting something short we're gonna try to beat them downfield and robinson was wide open and he makes a beautiful first down catch as now we move the chains once again I mean, the Jets, 
I believe they had, I want to say, three or four sacks on the game. We still will see more of those, but for the most part, we were able to run our offense the way we wanted to. The problems came when we tried to get a little too cute, tried to get a little too fancy, like this third down and eight play right here as we are sacked. And let's see if Justin Tucker can hit this long 54-yard field goal. So he's waiting for the snap, trying to take a little bit of time off the clock before the end of the first half. That's why you see us holding on to it right there. Tucker gets it up. And it is in. So 13 zip. Like you said, you know, if we're not able to get into the end zone, get that six, the next best option is the field goal. So it's halftime. Let's see what Coachman has to say what's going on in the league. Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We begin 2022 up in the Tar Heel State. Cleveland paying the opening day visit to Carolina. And it's the Browns who have the lead late in the first half. Two touchdown passes there for Deshaun Watson. From there, we head over to Hot Atlanta to check out the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And for the moment, they trail the visiting Saints in that one. Michael Thomas, over 100 yards receiving and a touchdown catch as well. Lastly, let's head to Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. See what's happening with the Bengals. And you can see they trail in that matchup against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Two touchdown passes there for Mitchell Trubisky. Next, they look at the next-gen stats for the Ravens in that first half. And the ground game has been a big part of why they have this big lead. And you have to figure they'll lean on it a little bit more in the third and fourth quarters. Meanwhile, for the Jets, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? So how about Mitchell Trubisky and the Steelers putting a hurting on uh, Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals? I wonder, uh, will that be a thing that we'll be seeing a trend in our division? As this won't be a trend in this game. I'm going to let you know right now. The Jets score some points right there. But nonetheless, the Steelers are a very interesting team as far as this division is concerned. They have a very good young roster, but they still have a lot of work to do. Not very strong at quarterback, but Trubisky has two first down touchdowns. You know, Clay Claypool has seven receptions and 100 yards in the first half. And, you know, Joe Burrow and the guys might have to step it up, but we have to step it up there. As you see, Lamar Jackson throws a very poor pass, forces it. And it leads to an intercession. We just can't we we can't put the the lid on the Jets quite yet. We're, we're beating them, but we should be dominating this game a lot more than what we are right now. And there you see Reed making us pay for it as the ball is going the other way to Zach Wilson and Game Green. Now we've had pressure on them all game. The run game hasn't really been too effective because they've been passing, trying to keep up with us. So let's see what they do on this drive. Zach Wilson steps back into the pocket, drops it, throws it over the middle, and Braxton Berrios, the former Miami Hurricane, puts it on the field. He drops it. That was a big hit when, you know, he's coming over the middle. Wilson kind of set him up right there. I mean, nice pass. You know, I almost want him, you almost want him to get down in that situation. He's surrounded by white and purple jerseys. So you almost want the receiver to get down, protect the ball, and get ready for the next down. He doesn't. Now it's Ravens ball. Second and 10. Duvernay makes a nice pass. Nice catch, excuse me, over the middle. We weren't able to turn this drive into a touchdown. But once again, let's get three. So you see Justin Tucker steps out onto the field. Puts it up. Perfectly timed kick is good for three. And just before our announcement was cut off there, he's going to let you know that Justin Tucker's record for uh, field goals in a game is six. 
So let's see if this season, you know, we don't want to have a game where we have to kick six field goals. But if we if we have to, let's see if we can kick seven field goals in one game. That'll be the record for the game. And if if I can pick kick seven field goals in a game successfully, I'll, I'll give away a game. Maybe a copy of Madden 23 to one of the listeners out there, one of the followers. It's here you see it's third down. Lamar Jackson scrambling, keeping the drive alive. So we're in the fourth quarter now, so things are starting to slow down, starting to run that ball a little more. But we want to punch this one in. Very aggressive call right there for to Rashad Bateman. He gets a touchdown. He decides he wants to jump into the New York crowd, but, you know, New York fans are hostile. They were not going for it. <laughs> so we extend the lead. Bateman gets a nice touchdown catch. A lot of coverage around him, but he had just enough space to haul that in. Tuck it, and he's in the end zone for six points. As you see, the bench is very excited about what's going on. At this point, I'm definitely thinking, okay, this is the Jets, you know, so I'm not going to get too excited about the way we're playing, but we're definitely looking good. Too many turnovers, no question. Speaking of turnovers, look at this play. Zach Wilson takes a slide. I guess he didn't give himself up, so it didn't count. I don't know what happened right there. I actually sent this clip to Sloppy Madden. Listen, man, I don't know what that was right there. Let's take a look at it again. He slid, then he got lit up <laughs> by the Baltimore defender. Ball comes loose, and just like that, the lid that we were talking about earlier pretty much is tightening around the can of whoop-ass that we have opened on these here Baltimore, excuse me, these here New York Jets. So that one looked like a touchdown right at the goal line. We'll take another look at it right here. Nice pass by Lamar Jackson with the pressure creeping in. Maybe a little bit of a late hit right there. I don't know if they called it. Probably should have been running in this situation. A little too aggressive. Throw the play action and it leads to a sack. Nonetheless, Lamar Jackson makes up for it. Gets paid dirt again. Rashard Bateman in the back of the end zone for a second touchdown of the game with five minutes left in the fourth. Look at Lamar. Looking very confident in the pocket. I hope that is a thing that is going to continue. We lost two offensive linemen in this game. One to a broken finger. And uh, the other, I believe, is a high ankle sprain. So he may be back soon. We'll check the injury report and have that for you in the second episode. But before we get out of here real quick, because it's winding down, I don't have the entire clip of the game. We did score one more time after this. Just want to say Madden 23, slight improvement, still a whole lot of work that they need to do on this game. But I like what, what I have so far. I don't play Madden competitively. I love to play franchise mode like this. That's what I'm going to be bringing to y'all. So this year, we're going to be doing the Ravens season. Be sure to tune in for uh, MLB The Show. We'll be doing more of that as well. As well as NBA 2K23, which is dropping very soon this week. Thank y'all for tapping in. It's been another episode of BYC Gaming, and we out of here.